Crown live right here after the All Canada Classic. Kyle Wiltshire, how are you, my man? I'm doing good. The team got the win. I mean, and that always puts you in a good mood. Definitely. Talk a little bit about the game. You scored 11 points. You had a couple blocks. You played physical in there. Talk a little bit about the event, the game, and the fun you had tonight. I just wanted to play hard because I didn't know what was going to come offensively. I just let it come to me and get my shots open. Uh, I just let the game come to me, and I thought I played physical, and I was a presence on the defensive end. Now, is that one of the areas that you want to improve on going forward? Oh, yeah, most definitely. Just getting quicker and stronger for the next level just because the, the guys are so much more athletic at the next level. Now, right now you're playing. Who, who's looking at you? Uh, what schools are on you right now thinking that you're going to be the next guy to really take their program to the next level? Uh, Gonzaga, Kansas, Wake Forest, uh, Texas. Uh, pretty much the whole Pac-10 has called me. Uh, and uh, like The whole Pac-10? <laughs> yep, pretty much. Good. I mean, pretty much everyone's offering the Pac-10 besides uh, Washington and UCLA. Now, you were born in the States? Yeah, I was born in Portland, Oregon. Definitely. And talk a little bit about your family ties to Canada. Of course, your father, Greg Wiltshire, yep. played for the Canadian team. What was his influence on you? Oh, it was big. I mean, it was a whole family of Canada basketball. I mean, my sister's on the senior women's team, so she played on that, or she's playing on a net right now, and then my dad played. Uh, back in the day, so I mean it was a big decision for me. I just decided the Canadian uh, option would give me a lot bigger opportunity to play in the future for the Olympic team. Yeah, for sure. I mean you're going to be one of the guys that Team Canada will look to uh, to take the next step. Uh, and you see all the cats playing today. Talk about some of the guys you played with tonight and against. Oh, there's just tremendous talent in Canada basketball right now. Uh, Mick Cabongo. He's a great point guard. He was finding me the ball in transition. Uh, I mean, there's just a, lot, a lot of talent. Kim Birch, uh, uh, Kevin Pangos, he's a great point guard. Uh, this is the first time I've gotten to see these, uh, a lot of the players. So it's just been fun getting to know all these guys at training camp and, uh, and go with the process. Now, you said you were uh, born in Portland, Oregon. I know ball's pretty deep down there. Uh, talk a little bit about the difference between uh, ball stateside and ball in Canada. We know that the Canadian competition is, is getting to a level. Talk a little bit about your Portland, Oregon ball. Um, I just think it's been very competitive down there in the States. I mean, we've been in a couple big tournaments. Uh, we've won back-to-back -back state championships in Oregon. So that's been big for me. And then we're, uh, next year, we're just trying to get a, a bigger national schedule against better competition just so I can play against the best. And uh, looking forward to this summer, uh, what are you going to be working on to improve your game? Um, just being a versatile big guy. I mean, just working on fine-tuning all of the aspects of my game, just getting quicker, stronger, be in the weight room, uh, get a lot of shots up, make it more consistent, uh, work on my post moves with my dad, just all, all sorts of stuff. Your post moves with his dad. So his dad's still doing work out there. Oh, yeah. He's, he, you know, he's in pretty good shape right now. He just dropped about 30 pounds in the last month. He's in playing shape. He's been playing once or twice a week just for fun. And then afterwards, he works me out. All right, man. That's great. Well, Kyle, you're away in the States. Tell the people of Canada, tell the people of Crown, uh, you know, what you want to tell them uh, about your game and about your future. I just want to tell everyone to watch out for me because uh, I'm not going anywhere. And uh, I think Canada basketball is on the rise, so U.S. better watch out. Uh, and what's up to my mom back in Oregon? She's probably watching this. I mean, she'd be here if she could. It's just so expensive and for all the airfare and stuff. So, so what's up to my family? All right, there you have it. Kyle Wiltshire, Drew E. Banks for Crown.